Hey, welcome to The Daily here on iChurch. Oh man, I'm so excited we have the privilege of being with you every single day. And I'm usually here on Mondays and we've got team members that are here on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to make sure that they, daily you get your daily word. You get the word to inspire you and get you on the right track. And you know, I'm doing a series here on Mondays that's entitled 10 Steps to Get Your Life in Order. So I've been throwing you some curveballs because you didn't expect that here. And I, ta I started talking about, first of all, e daily exercise. Second uh, Monday, I talked about food and, of course, hydrating yourself with water and getting rid of things like soda and other things uh, that, that are not good for you. Now, today, I want to jump into the third aspect of getting your life in order is getting your words in order. Getting your words in order. So, the Bible says in Ephesians 5.19, it says, uh, Don't be drunk with wine, which is dissipation, which means that it's going to kill you, but be filled with the Spirit speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another in the fear of God. Big stuff here. All right, so let's talk about that. Here we are, we're talking about getting our life in order, but how many of you actually just daily say stupid things to yourself? I'm stupid, I'll never amount to anything. You're thinking about a thousand words a minute. They say ladies can think up to 10,000 words a minute. That's how smart you are, ladies. Um, that's not an insult, that's a compliment. Um, so you're thinking all the time, you're talking to yourself all the time. So one of the things that we have to talk about here when we get our life in order is getting our words in order because our words produce life and death. We know that from the word. And here it says, hey, when you talk to each other, this is how you should talk. Psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart, giving thanks always for all things. Is that how you are when you walk into the office, when you come home from work that night? Zippity doo da, zippity day. You go walk into work going, I love you, Lord, and I lift my hands. You walk into the office and go, uh, don't go changing the child, please me. Is that, I mean, is that what, are you a, are you a jukebox? Are you a, a positive, upbeat, encouraging person that that attracts others um, I don't know you want to get your life in order change your words I was watching this uh, US Open the other day and and it talked about this young uh, golfer from Northern Ireland Rory and uh, they talked about him one secret of in his life is the repetitive affirmations repetitive affirmations well that's why I wear this bracelet that says courage on it it says on the other side, fear not. Based on the scripture, it says, fear not, for I'm with you. Be not dismayed, I'm your God. Surely I'll help you. Surely I'll uphold you, my righteous right hand. So I, I had that made because I was getting a little discouraged. I was struggling with some phys something physical. And I, I, I want to use these words. I don't want to be discouraged, i.e. a lack of courage. I want to be encouraged, have courage in me. Does that make sense? So as you're watching today, how you feel is directly related to your body, but then it's also directly to, related to your words. What you say to others, what you say to yourself, what you say to God. <laughs> so self-talk, God talk, and talking to others. Okay, how can you get that in order? You gotta start watching what you're saying. The other day I was playing tennis and I missed a shot. I said, Gula, you're stupid. I actually said that to myself. I caught myself and said, no, that's not true, Paul. You're not stupid. You may be out of shape, or you may be not in good tennis shape, um, but you're not stupid. I played golf the other day. I hadn't played in almost a year, and I and, uh, went out and, and hit the ball, and I really, the whole game, I had to talk to myself. Goulet, you can hit this shot. Come on, Goulet. And then I hit I said, good shot, Paul. <laughs> yeah, I might have sounded funny, but I actually had a great day. I had a fun, um, I spoke to myself the entire game. Why? Because it's easy to get discouraged when you're playing golf and you haven't played for a year or almost a year. So, so words. If you want to get your life in order, you got to start changing not only how you talk to yourself, but what you say to yourself and then what you say to others. When I meet someone, I always like to look at them straight in the eyes, shake their hand. It's good to meet you. Hey, what's your name? Hey, wow, it's a cool name. I always do that. I always do that. I like to comment and just give them a blessing right up front. 
Wow, I really appreciate your attitude. Something like that. Whatever, whatever comes to my spirit. I always try to phew, light them up with words. Hey, man, I really appreciate your work. Hey, thanks for coming. And hey, you're a great, you're a great waitress. You're a great waiter. I mean, I'm always doing stuff like that. And, and I'm known in all these restaurants. People know me. Hey, that's pastor. Hey, that's pastor. I've never asked them to call me pastor. I, I'm Paul. But guess what? They, they start respecting me as a pastor because I'm a man of God who speaks into their life. And I'm also generous with them, so I give them a good blessing. So, so gang, have you thought about your words and the impact of your words around you? Do people avoid you? <laughs> Do people not invite you to their parties? <laughs> Do people, when you walk into the room, they know that you're going to just go blah, 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 negative, critical, blah, blah, blah. They're going to avoid you. I want to just challenge you. Want to change something? Change your words. Every time you meet someone, say something nice to them. Compliment them. Thank them. When someone serves you at a table, say thank you for that great service today. You're awesome. So tell them stuff like that. You're going to be amazed at the results. Your, 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 your words, but James says it can be a fire. Your words can actually be a fire to destroy things, or they can build people up by speaking to each other in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, making melody in your heart. That sounds like a good type of life. Get your life in order. Say, God, forgive me for speaking death to my life. Forgive me for speaking death to others. I, had, I remember um, I had a family member that used to go, I hate Mondays. I hate Tuesdays. I hate, I hate. And finally, one day I said to them, is there actually a day that you like? <laughs> Hello? Because they were just death talk. So today, I want you to get a hold of this concept. We've already talked about exercising right, eating right, and drinking, hydrating your body. The third is proper words coming out of your mouth. And you're going to start seeing a big difference as you start getting your life in order. One important step at a time. And this third one is so important. It's your words. And we'll see you tomorrow and the day after and the day after as iChurch becomes part of your daily life. I love you guys. See you next time.